the, the Bengals will not be required to play the 49ers without Joe Burrow. He has that pinky injury. He said he won't miss time. Here's Zach Taylor, the coach of the Bengals from yesterday, talking about the dislocated pinky that Burrow suffered on Sunday. We're all on pinky watch. How's, uh, how's Joe doing today? He feels good. You know, I, I, you have to ask him specifically, but, um, you know, there's, there's a chance that we limit him early in the week so that we can make sure he just doesn't put any pressure on it and, and can be the most effective he can be. And, and we'll be smart with, with what we're asking him to do. Sometimes maybe rest is going to be the best thing for it um, to let him manage it. So um, I think tomorrow we'll have more information on how he feels. Wednesday we'll have more information on how he feels and, and see where we have to go with it this week. As a former quarterback, could you kind of empathize a little bit with having to, you know, having to you know, what he was dealing with? Um, no, because I haven't experienced it, but, but you just try to picture in your head, all right, what would be the worst finger to injure, you know, middle finger, pointer finger, uh, whatever it is, but you don't want to injure any of your fingers as a passer. Um, but again, he, he, uh, his feedback to me during the game was just keep going plays and I'll make him work. And he did. All right. So look, uh, Joe Burrow is not the kind of guy who is ever going to admit that any injury will hold him down. He has played well. He's been tough. He keeps going. And, you know, he, 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 you can't say that, that the finger affected him in a negative way. They, they were down 24 nothing. It wasn't because of the finger. And he fought back, and they almost tied up the game, and they had a chance to win the game. But, Chris, what's your take on this pinky injury based on the way that Joe Burrow grips the ball? Because as you've demonstrated over yeah, the years right so many different grips right. for the various quarterbacks out there some who are fully aware of how they grip the ball some like ben roethlisberger <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> right i don't know how i grip it you know how yes i do know how you grip it let me show you uh but yeah i you know again everybody has like i think different ways they grip the football like you discussed joe burrow first off you know to your point mike you know let, let's just start up he hurt the hurt the finger early on in the football game he threw the ball great the rest of the game. So I don't look at it to be like a huge issue. Now you can see how he grips the ball there. That would be what I would call two and under five, two and under five. Cause we're just talking about the ring finger and the pinky finger. So the, the ring finger right here would be on, here's my ring, you know, right. Would be on two now. And then we're talking about the gaps in between the laces there. And then that pinky finger underneath five. Now to me, again, I'm a gripper of two and five, and I am very dependent on my my ring and pinky finger. Those are important for me. You know, what does change it is the fact that he puts more pressure on the ring finger by moving the ball, you know, on this angle to where that pinky finger goes under the lace, where I, I, I'm not, you know, again, I don't have a lot of experience throwing the football this way, but it does put less pressure on your pinky. To where, yeah, you're a little more based on the ring finger and middle finger to grip the football this way as compared to the way I have it or some other quarterbacks through time where, you know, let's just say a Brady would be one of those two quarterbacks that puts those two fingers on the laces to where, yeah, I depend on that pinky for my grip and my control a little bit. I don't get the sense from throwing this ball this way and messing around that it's going to affect him greatly. I don't think. It's going to affect him greatly. I don't. I don't think it's going to affect his power. The way he has that ball positioned to his hand, like I said, a lot of the pressure is on the other fingers. And I think the really the pain, Mike, and having gone through this because I had a dislocated ring finger that I dealt with a lot for the playing career, wasn't always about, hey, yeah, it hurts when I grip, but I can handle that. It was what we saw on the sideline from Joe, Joe, uh, Joe Burrow during the game. It's when you release the ball and let the fingers go limp. That's when you hurt your fingers where you go, oh, my gosh, my dislocated finger, broken finger, whatever, really bothers me on the release of the football. But he should be able to manage that and still control it and, and still be damn good. And just so I understand this, yeah. the fact that the pinky rests below the the laces yeah. that's what's telling you that he's he's putting more on the ring and the middle finger by way of the force and the control of the ball and the pinky's just kind of along for the ride a little bit him. along for the ride and guiding it no doubt about it you know to hear where again like you know i get you get into brady or uh dan marino or john elway who would have had both fingers on there to me that becomes more you're a little more dependent on that pinky finger to grip the ball and control it 
You know, some of these new age guys, even Aaron Rodgers, they do this where they put that that pinky finger underneath the lace. And yeah, I don't look at it as having the importance maybe as my own grip or some of the other guys that I mentioned. And I think that's probably a positive thing for this injury right here. You know, again, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, I haven't thrown a ton of footballs that way, but, you know, having messed around and doing it and doing it here and just toying around with it and thinking about it over the last 24 hours, yeah, I, I don't envision it being a huge problem for him. And because of the way he grips it, I think it, it's not huge on the pinky finger. By the way, hold that up one more time. Yeah. Hold the ball up yeah. and just show the folks. That is a full-sized, fully inflated, not deflated by the deflator football. That, it, 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 that is not a junior ball. You're just dealing with a man who has freakishly, and I mean that in a respectful <laughs> way, large ET fingers, which, which helps a guy not just phone home, but also throw the football very well. The <laughs> bigger right. the hand, the easier it is to control the football, unless you're Shaq with a basketball and you're trying to shoot free throws because <laughs> that whatever becomes reason, too big. Yeah, his too small. gigantic hand. It's, <laughs> like it's a the, toy. The, the ball's too small. Right. The ball's too small that you're trying to put in the hoop. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.